Hey guys. Well, today is the day. We finally have our gears in and we're out here at Arizona Specialist, I'm oh, sorry, Differential Specialists. They are the recommended installer from Nitro Gears. Um, we're having 488s put in the truck. Uh, Jose is our main guy. His son Cruz is his helper. Um, kind of like mine. He's my helper. And he's informed me it's gonna be about six hours. I didn't see that coming. So about six hours of work and it's gonna add about $900 to the labor expense. But this is something you want a specialist doing. You don't wanna do this yourself. Um, this and maybe the brakes, cause I like to stop when I need to stop. But we're gonna replace the front uh, brake calipers and rotors uh, as one of our next deals. Since we're adding a lot of weight to the vehicle, we wanna be able to stop. So anyway, we're gonna get started here. As you can see, he's already got, already got the truck up on the lift. It's cranking away at it. We'll, uh, we'll get going on this and we'll keep you informed. See how it goes. Hello, and welcome to Midlife Crisis. My name is Aaron, and I invite you to follow along with me and my son Austin on our journey as we build out a few camper vans and customize a new Toyota Tacoma into a beast. Then later in the year, we'll head out to Southeast Asia to ride a couple of adventure bikes through multiple countries, sharing the amazing experience with our viewers and ending our tour in Thailand. There, we will decide what to do next. Maybe buy a sailboat and sail around the world. Who knows? So please hit subscribe and follow us on this adventure. Okay, so basically you just have to tear apart the whole entire rear end. You gotta pull the axles out. That's what Jose's doing now. Get that away from the pinion gear in the main assembly. This is a very detailed process, more than I thought it was. What do I know? So that's what comes out of the rear end. That's the gear and everything. So we'll be replacing this piece and that piece down in there. Ooh, it's still even a little warm for me driving over here. Got to get the air compressor going. They run out of run out of juice. I was telling you, he was telling me a story about the pigeons, how they uh, hang out at this place. And it's entertainment for them during lunch. That's awesome. They have a pet one. They call him Leadfoot because he walks with a wobble. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. I'm telling you.
tight. Normally like that. Yep. yep. Let's see how this thing's gonna look. This is what's gonna tell us. This paint here determines where it's gonna be and how it's gonna adjust it the way it's running on there. Uh-huh. This is everything right. So if it starts. I, I don't understand the paint portion of it. So that hits the other. It hits the paint. It tells me how it's, how it's meshing together. Okay. Yeah. Check it out. So you get a good fit. Yep. Woo! That's pretty. Have you come on this side? Spilling it all over the place. Yeah. You got an even pattern. Running all right through that gear. Oh, yeah. It doesn't leave anything, huh? Nope. You got a perfect uh, tooth match right there, so. Well, perfect teeth are, you know, always wanting. Always good, huh? <laughs> We've got insurance call on you, that. Call you, call you the doctor. <laughs> Man, I think it's just put my flesh that we bought. So it being smooshed and nice and yep. flush like that is a really good. Yep, an indicator that's gonna run right there. It's good. Got it right the first time? Uh, that's just... Hey, put, mark this one down. <laughs> right, so let's get that back apart. <laughs> Woo! Like a glove. So he already put the gasket stuff on there? Yep, it's already on there. Cool. Right now we tighten this thing down, it's gonna make its own little bead and yep. seal itself up and I could throw oil in it right away and it's gonna hold it. I've actually put a, we put that right stuff, you can actually put a, the oil pan, the oil cover on there without bolts and it'll it'll still, it'll stick it on there. Yeah. And it, sometimes we have to, they come back to us because they want another service and we're over here fighting, killing that cover back off because of that silicone. <laughs> that thing is no joke. We love it. Is that no, I want you to do the center. I'll do that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You're good. You can't dry all this. Stuff. Going. Yeah, go ahead. Work the outside. I'll do the inside. Back end's all done. Now we're going to work on the front end. Everything went smooth the first shot on the rear differential. Toyota Tough. A little full. Yep. Oh. As you can see over there, the back end's all done. All put back together. Ta -da. Ta -da. So here's the empty portion where the clamshell came from. So you got your gears, both sides, got your drive shaft up here. It all fills this little hole. Works, that's gonna work. Got all this stuff all nice and cleaned up like it's brand new. Look at that. Factory yeah. finish. Get the bearings all pushed together. Cruz is over there taking off all the old gasket view. Getting it all nice and shiny like this one right here. They've got it all up in these creases and everything, so you gotta get it out of there. Now that's one looks brand new. Up 
pretty good, huh? up in there now. Just got to put all the pieces back together.
got you got short legs? Yeah, very short legs. <laughs> I'm at the grocery store, I can't reach the top stuff, but I'll get you the bottom stuff you need. Let's see here. Yeah. Uh -oh, we got it. copyright stuff. You got a lot of sauce on this thing. That's yeah. good though, it's not annoying. It's not too bad. We had to swap it out. I had one in there and then I had to change it to another one. Alright, so we're on for our test drive with our new gears. Jose is our trained professional race car driver. <laughs> so we need to just drive it, get it warm, let it cool, and do that several times. Several times, heat and cool. And explain what that does again, so. Okay, it's just the computer adjusting to what's going on. What'd you do? I didn't do anything, the computer did that. <laughs> I do have a pedal chip on there too, so it. Uh, it's probably trying to communicate. Hit the hit that far left button till it says Mode? N O. Yeah. Keep going. Right there. That's normal. So that's factory settings right there. Okay. Let it, let, let the factory settings do it things first. Cause yep. Computers don't have to recognize something. It's different. That's probably what happened. Any uh, any warning lights or anything? Nothing here. Yeah. Cool. Hopefully not at all. Well, then we're good. Man, he's only got six thousand miles. It's a baby. It's, a, it's just a puppy. So yeah. say again about the the gearing and it it helps him uh, heat up, cool down, harden. Yeah, it hardens the gear. Hardens. So it does, yeah. Because right now they're a soft gear. It's like a heat treatment. Yeah. You know. Uh, That's how you harden steel. Is yeah, get it hot, steel. cold, hot, and cold. And if you keep if you, if you keep getting them hot, keep getting them hot, it's gonna it just softens. Yep. It, and it ruin it. It'll, it'll take off material. And see when they when they create these gears they put like a coating on it so when it's getting hot it, it, it that coating really sticks onto it it makes it really hard okay makes the gears last longer put up with a little bit of abuse there's there's a lot of people that try to wire wheel this stuff because they put a coating on it they put a glue coating on it first because the glue is just for rust and this and that when they're shipping it whatever mm -hmm. you know to protect the, the gear but then there's another coating underneath that glue that you got to be careful not take that off because that's what Hardens Hard the steel. It, yeah. Makes sense. Popo. -po. Yeah, we got DPS right here. It's funny, I got some customers that come in with those radar things, man, they go off crazy right here. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> so we're at the 40 mile range. That's where I like to look. Yes, if there's gear noise there. I don't hear anything. I hear that muffler. Yeah, it's good. Usually we have about 40 miles an hour, you get the gear noise. You usually get it at 65. If you're going to get it, it's going to be in those two areas. It's cruising speed. And they well, you, had, you had me all worried like I was going to have this wee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're good, bro. Once I seen that pattern, I was like, man, this, this, this doesn't look nothing like the gears I've been messing with. So they probably did something different out there. The headquarters over there. Tacoma. It'll feel different when I'm driving, obviously, because I'm used to it. But and then we got to go take it and have it all programmed and do all that stuff because we got to get the right tire size yeah. on the you ECU. Get a super chip on that or something. Um, we're gonna have it reprogrammed. We're gonna have the ECU reprogrammed. Mm -hmm. It's gonna, you know, because Toyota uses this engine for a lot of the stuff they do. Yeah. It's in their Lexus lineup. It's a real popular engine and there's other models that have far more horsepower than this does so this is about my area right here i'm, I'm happy with this right here feeling good oh, yeah feeling good yeah we're gonna bump up uh with the reprogramming it increases about 60 horsepower plus we have the exhaust we got the air intake so we're hoping to push an extra 80 out of it. That's a lot. That's yeah. Plenty. So we'll be at about three, three fifty-eight ish. So what's this guy right here? You got right here? It's like a chip. So it's a what it does. It's it's kind of like a. Have you ever heard of pedal commander? It what it does is it reprograms the uh, drive-by wire throttle. 
So it's instant acceleration. And I have it on the lowest setting because there's um, sport and race modes. And those are just, I mean, you just barely touch the throttle and it jumps at you. This is right. It might be calibrated or something. But the it, miles per hour? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to all be off. Whoa! Gosh, it's it's going to be all off because of uh, the tire size. Hasn't been adjusted. Yeah, I'm happy with this. It's good. It's white. I'm happy. It got a little bit of down with this tire. I don't even hear it. You got like a bionic ear. I do this every damn day. I just hear it in my sleep sometimes. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> it's waking me up. We're good. All right, well, there you have it. We're done. We're it's done. all in. We'll give you an update in uh, a month or so. See how all that goes. These people not know how to drive. I'm sorry, this is getting recorded. <laughs> like, We're out. God. All right, well, we got everything in. Feels good, drives nice. Um, like I said, it was about $900 in labor, and I think I went over the parts with you before, but I will uh, promise I'll do a update on all the pricing. Uh, I think we're close to $9,500. Well, this probably puts us over $10,000 now with all the parts and everything, and we're keeping track of our hours as well, so we can figure out how many hours we've got into it and how much we're saving. They charge $125 an hour for labor, so that kind of seems to be the normal. The dealership does the same thing. Um, but we'll we'll put that on the numbers so we can figure out how much we're saving doing our own labor on most of this stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it on the freeway here and see how it does. I gotta break it in, get it uh, hot for 10, 30 miles, let it cool down. He said to do that about uh, five times and everything should be fine after that. Don't do any heavy hauling or anything like that for 500 miles. Other than that, uh, everything's working good. So. I'll give you an update later. Okay, it's been a few days now since uh, I've been driving the truck with the new gears. I really want to thank those guys over at uh, Arizona Differential Specialist uh, for coming in on a Saturday. Jose and his son Cruz, they did a wonderful job. They were fun to work with, um, explained everything to me as they were doing it. Some of that may not come through on the video. Uh, it was a four hour long process, so you know we can't obviously show all of that, but it was just very interesting and I really appreciate those guys taking a day off and uh, coming on in on a Saturday. Um, having said that, I've followed the rules. I drove it for a little while, let it cool down, drove it for a while, let it cool down. I've done this for several days now. Uh, that helps the, the gear metal harden uh, when it gets super hot and then it cools down, super hot, cools down several times. So. We've done that for a couple hundred miles. We're still gonna continue to do it throughout the week. We come into work, we, it cools down. We go to welding school, it cools down. Then we go home, it cools down. So we're gonna do that the rest of the week. And that should uh, pretty much take care of it. Uh, I promised you guys uh, some numbers at the end here. So let me just go over here and lean on the truck. Um, okay, so just kind of going over everything again, the throttle controller, the air intake, uh, the catback exhaust, the new additional muffler, because the other one was too loud for this old man, um, uh, the upper control arm and new top hat, the sumo bump stops, the uh, old man emu lift kit. Uh, I had to pay to have the springs compressed. If you remember that, link down below, watch that video. I really racked my leg pretty good with that uh, leaf spring dropped on my leg. Holy crap. It's been almost a month now. I still have a bump there, but it was half of a tennis ball when it started. So now it's down to like half of a grape. Um, let's see here. Wheels and tires uh, were $2,400. I don't know if I mentioned that one in a previous video. Um, we did get some money back on selling the used parts we took off. We got 600 for the old used and tires, uh, wheels and tires. We got 250 for the lift parts that we took off the truck. Got 150 for the rear bumper and $50 for the battery. So that minuses out of our total that's coming up shortly. Uh, we have the uh, 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 side steps, the quick hood release system, the dual battery system, dual batteries, uh, gear shift knob. I didn't video that, it was stupid. It's just a little carbon fiber gear shift knob. It's, I think it's cool. Um, 
the body armor front bumper, the Smitty built 10,000 pound winch, the 20 inch light bar on the front bumper, the rear bumper, the front D-rings and shackle, or front and rear D-rings and shackles. We had an oversized uh, shipping fee for the rear bumper, which was $25. Um, the rear bumper lights was $38. The, the nitro gears was $1381.04. And that did include uh, enough oil to break it in. And then after 500 miles or 1,000 miles, take it all out and put new oil back in. That brings our current total to uh, with the, including the price of the vehicle, I, I just established at 40,000. That brings us up now to 50,925 bucks, roughly. I still have uh, quite a bit of stuff here in the warehouse that we have not put on yet. And the sound system's coming in the mail. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, and we just uh, bought some new stuff. It's over there, but you can't see, so. It's going in shortly. I still have some other things coming. As you know, we're getting ready to do the roof rack. Um, that's all laid out over there. We're just waiting for the light bar. And of course, we're going to do the air system. So we've got those videos coming up, but that's the numbers on the gears. It drives much better. I can't wait to get it reprogrammed. Uh, I have to do that anyway because uh, you know, we change the gears up and we change the tire size and I'm going to have the ECU reprogrammed to be a little bit more fuel efficient and get some more horsepower out of this bad boy. Anyway, that's it for now. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, see ya.